Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Skema. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and it's time to get you up to date with some headlines. Researchers, I can only assume who've watched The Simpsons a bunch of times, are now teaching robots to feel pain. Why? Why was I programmed to feel pain? Johannes Kuhn and Sami Hadadin presented their system at the IEEE International Conference on Robotics and Automation recently. Here's how it works. They took a biotech fingertip sensor, attached it to a robotic arm, and created a reflex response for the sensor that is able to feel varying degrees of pain. Light pain causes the robot to slowly retract, but severe pain pushes the arm into a passive mode to minimize damage. Kind of like human shock. Kuhn and Hadadin hope their work helps future robots avoid unnecessary damage. Is this a good idea? I mean, I thought robots, <laughs> the point of robots was so because they don't. Feel yeah, pain. that's like, like their that's... huge advantage over us. Hey, <laughs> let's send them into hazardous situations right. and then all of a sudden they're going to be like, I have radiation poisoning, help me. And I gonna, think maybe, I'm going to feel very terrible. I think maybe it's more a semantics thing of like, we can call it pain, but it's just avoid damaging yourself, right? Is, Which is what is yeah. pain is really doing for human beings, I guess. That's avoid true. damaging. Why are you hitting yourself? Why are you hitting yourself? Don't hit yourself. Right. And don't let other things hit you. That's very true. <laughs> uh, another research presentation at that IEEE conference featured a, a, a leaping cockroach robot, or as I like to call it, nope. <laughs> Seoul National University in South Korea collaborated with UC Berkeley to create this robot, which is called Jump Roach, not Jump Rope. This little roach's body is the Dash robot, which we've seen before, but now it's got a mechanism underneath that enables it to hop, jump, and leap up onto higher surfaces, making it more appealing for subtle exploration or maybe even search and rescue in rubble. It can adjust how high it jumps and can right itself if it gets turned over. The only thing missing at this point is working wings, which, yeah, maybe we just maybe we just skip the wings. <laughs> maybe we just yeah. don't. Maybe we just don't let robotics. As long as it doesn't have jaws or teeth or fangs or claws, I think we can. We're we're all right, right? I'm ar I'm a little worried that just for effect they're gonna add the hissing sound that those Madagascarian hissing cockroaches <laughs> make. Just to freak me out even more, but yeah. I don't like the way you move, Jump Roach. We need to I'm make, watching you. We need to make this this roach feel pain. That's what That's, we need. Yeah, <laughs> so that when I smash it with a newspaper, it can feel it. That's right. what I want to do. <laughs> uh, what should we talk about? I mean, I think we got to talk about robots feeling pain. Yeah, I think robots feeling pain is a fascinating topic. Good, bad. Is it necessary? Does it help things, or is it is another this a step path to disaster? Oh boy. Which sometimes, you know. It might be. Science. Science. Uh, make sure you use the hashtag HeyTD on Twitter to talk to us about robots feeling pain. Do you like it? Are you for or against it? Uh, and if we like your tweets, we will put them in the Thursday Long Show when we talk about this again. We love incorporating your feedback into those shows, so be sure to do that. Hey, is it time for Photographer of the Day? It is. Let's check out our first selfie. As I mentioned, our theme this month is selfies. The month of June, the theme of photographer selfies, and Jason took this wonderful picture with his Nexus 6P. Jason writes, my name is Jason. I went camping this weekend with some friends at Hickory Run State Park, Pennsylvania. I went hiking and took these pictures on my Nexus 6P. We had a great time camping and had some good food, although while I was sleeping, a bear ate my cheese. It ripped apart some neighbor's camper's cooler. Yikes! I'm not sure what the current theme is, spring, selfies, or if you came up with a different option, but hopefully one of these might make the cut. You have my permission to use these photos. Be good human hosts of the best tech talk show in the known universe. Ah, thanks, buddy. Super nice. This is great. Yeah. Although, uh, bear ate his cheese. Yeah, uh, I would have preferred a bear selfie, but... No, 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 don't do that. It's dangerous. Actually, yeah, please don't do not. Do no that. more bear, bear... People have actually died trying to do I that. I know. This is not a good idea. Not wise. I meant the bear taking a selfie uh, with you. Like, leave your phone out next time, and maybe the bear will take a selfie. I don't know. Yeah. Just just to suggest. I'm sorry that bear ate your cheese, though. I'm... I'm you should I'm not bit. have picnic baskets <laughs> in national parks, because I watched a lot of Yogi Bear as a kid. If you guys want to send in your phone time, send in your selfies... And like uh, Jeff said yesterday, it does not have to be 
a selfie of you. It can be, uh, I could take a selfie of Genghis. Like, yeah. you could do, you could do all kinds human. of things for selfies. Be creative. We love it. Take a selfie. Send it to tomorrow at CNET.com. Be PG about it. <laughs> and also, uh, give us permission to use it. Tell right. us uh, your name and how to pronounce it. And tell us a little story about it. Jason knocked story time. time out of the park. I yeah. loved his story. Love the story. Gives us something to talk about. That is it for today's show. You can share Tomorrow Daily. Give it. Give the gift of the show by sending a friend to TomorrowDaily.com. Find us on social media. And, of course, we will be back tomorrow with uh, our long show. It's yeah. a short week this week. Yeah. It was a nice, nice fun holiday weekend. Week. I'm, I love those long shows. We'll see you then. Until that time. Be good humans. Bye, guys. Oh. 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 Oh.